will introduce here 53 events a stronghold blue team. We've got Noisy as a Lord Commissar, very good offense fight in melee combat, can also support really well and begins with a refractor field. Alongside a couple of Orc players, first up, Viking is a mech boy, teleporting commander that fights range combat, puts out some really good damage, can also support, disrupt, build structures and repair, and rounding off the blue team is Zevar Gale as a very angry war boss, a melee commander that walks through objects, so very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines. This is the free booters. DLC from Relic, Red Team, we've got Dark Hero as a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander walks through objects and cannot be suppressed on very good offense and disruption fights mainly in melee combat alongside z -talk is an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura and rounding off the Red Team, it's Hans Moleman as a Warps of Rexarch, teleporting commander that fights range combat by default Lots of great disruption and harassment and generally annoying the crap out of everyone with his control abilities and is now inside a garrison, somehow becoming even more annoying shooting up this war boss who's going to take the wreck point. There we go. I, I guess Zavar Gale could get up the burners and try and burn that guy out of there. Mechboy teleporting in to tie up these Dire Avengers and this is the Harley Quinn elite scheme from Hans Moleman if you hadn't already guessed by the kaleidoscope of colors here puts a gen up in easy range to shoot down they should go after that whoops but it's still in this garrison what's going on west side lord commissar in amongst a whole bunch of heretics and csm these guys have grenade launchers though really bad news for his double guardsmen gonna need to keep them split which is not always easy when you're trying to double repair a sentinel or something where is a sentinel by the way kind of meandering around I guess it was forced off by range fire at first takes down the CSM model Here's some pawn worship plus two speed to all of your units that's the worship of the chaos lord here he is coming back out of the HQ grenade launcher barrage barrage is on nothing Lord come on start putting some work in look at him racking up XP that's from that CSM kill and a few heretic kills I guess killed one there and three there the Double Dire Avengers now pushing forward for hands. Has a guarded weapon team on the field with a Shuriki cannon not moving right now. There he goes. Both of these midpoints taken by the Orky team. Well, the double Orcs, I should say. Looters up for Zebra Gale. Did he not get a second shooter? I don't think he did. Usually a bad idea to not get that second shooter up or second slugger up. But get something up. Where did Z-Talk go? Not sure. Hands kind of seem to be alone there against the two Orcs. Maybe Z-Talk pushed through the mid and did some damage. We have the big shooter on the field for the mech boy. Almost 38 piercing DPS on a teleporting commander is pretty scary. Especially since he can get that... What is it called? I forget the name of it. Custom force field. There we go to make himself more resilient. So Z Talk is thinking about coming to the east side. Zebra Gel is stacking his units over here but only has that single shooter. Why would you not get double shooters against Eldar? That piercing damage just melts those Dire Avengers. The, as it stands, the Warps of Rexar can teleport in, tie up the looters and then it's just a single shooter boy squad to stop these late Banshees coming out. Hans does this quite often. Usually when you see Banshees on the field from an Eldar player, it's the first purchase they make. Or maybe the second, but in this case, Hans getting them up after the Shuriken, which can really take a player by surprise when they didn't think there were Banshees around. Lord Commissar in retreat. We have Flamer Guards went up here. Forced off this VP. A whole bunch of dead heretics, though. So he did some damage and the CSM model down. Damage all round. Did Dark Hero get a combi Flamer? Of course he did. Why would you not? 31.61 piercing DPS. It seems to do so much more than that though. It just seems to completely drain health off everything. Shotgun scouts up for Z Talk. Stop sluggers running amok, I guess. That damage from the shooter boys. These guys trying to force melee combat to make sure they keep chasing. There we go. Tactical Marines make short work of shooter boys in melee. Taking out two models there, helped by the flamer. Good engagement for Z Talk, and why is he not hitting the power? It's right there. You have a flamer equipped. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. Mechboy now coming in. Might take a model out. Z Talk can't heal. Already used it. Has purification rights though and the customized storm bolter. Here comes some sluggers. Ouch. Drops a tactical marine model. Maybe he knew that he forced off some of Viking stuff a little bit earlier, so knew they would be coming out of base momentarily, but I still think he should have gone for those gens. The noise marines up on the field for Dark Hero, and he's certainly going straight for the generators here, I think. Gonna shake structures to the ground with that sonic blast to also disorientate and disable ranged weapons and other ranged attacks of units. While all while doing a fair amount of damage too. Short range obviously, relatively speaking. Chaos Thord. Needs to go tie something up. Here come a bunch of shooty orcs from Viking who did get double shooters and has fully upgraded both of them, I think. Yes. There's the MLA orcs backing away. Now walking right back into it. What is this? What the heck are you doing, Viking? Obviously, completely misclicking there or something. Got out of the immolation and went straight back into it could have come around here and stood with Noisy. As it stands, Noisy is alone against Noise Marines and the Combi Flamer Chaos Lord, no doubt going to get the Armored Inferno up in Tier 2. See how slowly the Chaos Lord turns around there. A really cool change, I think, those rotation rate decreases on the chunkier commanders. Really good for getting in on the flanks of them. Also makes them a lot worse at killing retreating units because they turn so slowly. Sometimes they can't get the attack off. The war boss has gone down. 315487. Obviously, the Chaos Lord st still a really, really strong hero. Consistently incredibly strong all the way through Dawn of War 2. Well, since he's been in it. Sluggers with Odd Boys up. Global ability from the war boss. And he can use that thing on allies, which is incredibly useful. They do have their burners. A couple of power weapons. 25 DPS for each model that gets a burner. That's not bad at all. That's 50 power melee DPS just from those two models. You've got all the others weighing in with, I think, 20 DPS melee. And then, of course, the Nob Leader gets about 65 power melee DPS. And that's why Sluggers can become so scary. And they take down some Devastators here. Z Talk not paying attention. Where's his stuff? Oh, he's over on the east side. Leveling up. Why is he retreating your scouts? Maybe that was a. Maybe he retreated the, the, the wrong unit online. there which gets everyone now and then. Level 2 Tactical Marines. Very little pressure on these central powers that I've seen. Maybe the Orcs have gone after this, I didn't see it. Noisy has both of these points in the mid. The two contested points. Down goes the Apothecary, shot to pieces by Orcs. Some looters here from Viking. Both Orc players going for looters, what is this? Oh, group teleport from Hans. Trying to get those Banshees right into the action. Warshout suppresses a bunch of stuff. Really good little push for a Chimera is up for Noisy. Nice grenade as well and his retreating shoot as well. Got three of them. Pretty much as good as he could have hoped for. The Chaos Lord blowing up allied energy shields. He's clumsy like that. You can crush those things of course which is why that happened. Tactical Marines are now trying to cap mid with their 50% faster capping trait. What is this? Oh, it's the mech boy reviving the war boss. War boss does have angry bits. And did you level up mech boy? Maybe you did. You're level three now. So one to one cap. Three zero one four five nine. Now are we going to see? Oh look, noisy is getting aura of discipline on his lord commissar. That means only one thing: that we're going to see ogrins, or at least he wants to get some ogrins. As it stands, he needs a lot more resources. It's only 11020 this thing. Wow. That is an awesome piece of war gear for that price. I love accessories that just passively help you out. Was my micro so bad? Maybe. Stick bombers on the field for Zebra Girl. Seen noisy use ogrins a lot lately. Sometimes seen him even use double ogrins, which would be really fun to see. They are set to get a reinforcement cost decrease in 2.5. We'll see if that change goes through. That'll help them. And also maybe encourage those execution buffs from the Commissar, which makes Ogrins incredibly scary indeed. Grenade on the mech boy's face takes him down. Wow, did not think that I was going to do that. Nice shotgun blast. Knocking back at least two of the Orc squads and 
suppressing them obviously plague marines on the field for dark hero wow double plague marines in fact we'll see how long this chimera lasts for commissar lord or lord commissar i should say got to get used to that he's level three tying up obviously one of those plague marines but can't tie them both up no is he happy to get out and start shooting it that stuff was really globbed up for a few seconds csm dropping two models chaos lord is in there is he actually melleeing the chimera what is he up to I think he was. Oh, Basilisk Flare might save the Chimera. He's trying desperately not to have it turn around. And the Lord Commissar is trying to keep them tied up. But this might be the end of the Chimera here. Which would be a big blow to his Ogryn plans. Oh, Plague Marine goes down and the Chimera gets away. Wow. And Zetor doesn't have anything to get that last hit. Chimera lives. Lord Commissar runs away having done his job. Dick Bomber's getting chased by Howling Banshees. Jumping in. Can they get that attack? They cannot. Base turrets in effect. What is this though? Autop drop. Trying to finish them off. Can't quite manage it. Down to nine hit points. Jumps in the Autop, but is able to get out of there. Can be quite tough to spot this Harlequin Autop in amongst a bunch of Banshees and stuff to target her. She doesn't have her wings with the Harlequin scheme. Noisy dropping his Sentinel at some point. Or was that a lot earlier? And I'm just completely forgetting. I'm not sure. He doesn't have one, that's for sure. 275 to 404. A rather late Bloodcraft shot on the way for Dark Hero. But Noisy certainly doesn't have anything to deal with it. We do have a, a missile launcher up for Z Talks. Tactical Marines. He's got a Librarian as well. Getting Tome of Time. Oh, to support his Devastators. Has two of them. Force Barrier is awesome as well. Maybe we'll see that. Blood Crusher is going to hit field and here come Ogrins for Noisy. Seems to be able to use them incredibly well even in team games and even in a pretty tight and chaotic map like event so we'll see how he does. Almost level 4 on the Commissar. You see that passive heal going off which heals for more when there's fewer models in the squad so it synergizes really well with Ogrins and of course with allied marines and stuff with their low model count. We will be helping out those orcs as well of course and really good on this smallish map as well if you can get mid a whole army around you that commissar's me doing so much work completely passively for a relatively cheap piece of war gear oh he's got the teleporter relay beacon up so he's just re retreating back to that and a bunker yes yeah, so that's where that health regen aura is coming from and it's i guess it's far enough back to be safe ish but that is just asking for a double plague marine push there. They need to attack the Chimera, not the Beacon. And here comes a Blood Crusher. But here come the Ogrins, and they will tear that Blood Crusher apart. But that is a lot of scary stuff from the Chaos Lord. Immolator killed a bunch of Guardsmen. But they can reinforce three at a time off that Beacon. Or off the Chimera, I guess. The Beacon just gives you a retreat point in terms of the Chimera, since the Chimera can reinforce anyway. These looters are freaking out. There we go. Now they're setting up. Plague Marines losing models left and right. Did he lose a squad? No. The death explosion went off. That was enough to knock the Ogrins back. Blood Crusher's still around. Did they actually have any other AV apart from the Ogrins? No, they do not. So that Blood Crusher might do some work. Good choice from Dark Hero. What's Librarian got now? He's got the Psychic Hood. No sign of the four stuff though. It's quite expensive to fully kit out your librarian of stuff. These Marco Zinc CSM here with Eternal War. No aspiring champion right now though. And Noisy with heavy, we heavy weapon squad on the way. That's a good choice. An auto cannon, I guess. Though the suppression would be pretty useful as well. They have looters though to do that. Looks like Viking has lost his looters. Looted tank on the field for Zebragel before anyone in the red team even begins going to tier 3. And Viking just hit tier 3 too and has enough for a nuke. Scouts level 3 now. We're going to see a 2v2 fight maybe on this east side. Warboss trying to take that natural back. He lost his wreck point as well. It's been decapped here, no doubt, by Hans Moleman. Stick bombs going in. That is double shuriken cannons there for Hans. Here comes a looted tank. Not a lot around to stop it. Have they spotted the looted tank yet? Well, Warps of Rexarch has power blades. 
almost 54 DPS heavy melee on a teleporting commander. Pretty awesome for him, in a way. Here come the Ogrins, and the blood pressure just turns the heck around. Does not want any part of these guys with their 160 odd heavy melee DPS. 179361. Noise Marines still have their Sonic Blaster. Might do a, a bit better now with the Blastmaster up, especially if they they sit in the mid. Hit a big blob of stuff gathered around the beacon, maybe after a retreat. Some late sluggers on the field for Zebra Gale, no doubt to support that looted tank with some repairs. Ogrins drop a model and are forced to retreat out actually that was a let the galaxy burn from the chaos lord here come a bunch of stick bombers what are you trying to do trying to melee the blood crusher here i guess so sluggers are in there also what are these noise rings doing use some corn worship to get right in the face of those sluggers could have just attacked them from where they were i think tactical marines eating some stick bombers to the face but the carry is level 4, armor of purity is up. A looted tank on the way here for Viking. Zebra Gale just lost a whole bunch of stuff but takes down the Autark. And she did have her spear, so that is a win. And Sluggers, oh they're still level 1. Oh these are the new ones of course. What about Viking Sluggers? Level 2, reinforcing off that Chimera. And it is an auto cannon up for Noisy's heavy weapon squad. Double cap for red team though, blue team need to get their act together. Zebra Gale needs to defend his VP a bit better too. Easier said than done though, of course, when you're up against a teleporting hero. Blood Pressure is still around. Really is drawing the aggro of those Ogrins and they can't quite do enough to take that guy down right now. He's using that demonic raw thing quite well. Let them spend time trying to get into melee and soak up damage and then just demonic raw for them to fall back momentarily. We have Plasma Gun Guards from here, level 3, doing a fair bit of damage. They get 3 Plasma Guns, right? Yeah, so like 24-ish Plasma DPS. Although, I think the Commissar squad leader gives a damage buff to the squad, I believe. Oh look, Kill Staff is up, Force Barrier, really powerful in the center of Avenza here. This map was always designed for the flanks to be pushed the most, which is why the center is relatively narrow. I mean, it's no more narrow than the contested Arjun VP or something like that. I've said it before, this map was changed and updated like a couple of months ago, but we just haven't had an elite update for it to get put into the game. But it will be coming in 2.5, hopefully soonish by the end of the year I would hope Nob Squad on the field for Zebra Gel always incredibly dangerous with those war boss buffs and now with some Commissar buffs Aura of Discipline will do a great job killing up those knobs is that Blood Crusher really going to get away? wow did get away under Corn Worship of course boosting its speed and giving it all those demon specific benefits that you get from Worship the health regen the energy regen Heretics need to run away here there we go Dave Green is getting shots on looted tank uses the big boomy shot thing there we go and killed a bunch of heretic models the aspiring champion is the only guy that remains there good push from noisy and it's the mech boy getting some capping going using his teleport plasma cannon getting wrecked might go down thanks to stick bombs can the looted tank finish it off no plasma cannon gets away that is Veil of Time on the Tactical Marines. They're level 3. Went to use that to try and chase down the looted tank, I think. But they ran into some suppression from the aiming. What's that? Tier 3 now for Noisy. The last player to go. Blood Crusher is finally going to go down. No. Gets away with 8 hit points this time. Oh, there's that custom force field. This thing is amazing. Passive knockback to close enemies range damage resistance and a little bit of damage when you knock them back too you do need to get close for that knockback obviously because not really where the mech boy wants to be there's that force barrier hits one of the shooter boys so awesome now that it's fire and forget there's that inspire on kill 
from the Librarian. He does not mess around with his staff as well. Over 70 power melee DPS with almost 30 piercing on the ranged attack. 137162 is a double cap for blue. That is a nuke. Really wanted to kill that auto cannon. That was a bit strange of a choice from Dark Hero. And CSM go down. Ogrins and the Lord Commissar wrecking face a level 7 Commissar here. With that power power sword and carapace too. Plague Marines now being tied up. What's going on mid though? Mechboy is trying to cap under his custom force field. Vengeance rounds going off but the Devastator's not back there. Librarian's kind of out there ready to be shot at. Where is he going? Needs to be a bit more careful. There we go. Run away. Plasma Cannon gets a shot. Dark Hero suddenly looking very thin. Down to Heretics and Double Plague Marines. Blue team can really ramp up some VPs here because Noisy is doing a good job keeping this west side locked down. But can Zebra Gale hold against hands on the east side? There's now a D cannon to deal with. Does he have a Bright Lance? Hands, yes. So Looter Tank might be in trouble. Oh, Sink Kill on the Looter. That is one of the coolest Sink Kills from the Warps of Rexar. He has a special attack and a melee sink kill, this guy. Could those rear armor hits on a looted tank here? Where's that Bright Lance? I oh, just got set up. Uh oh, Knob Squad though. So he, we may see him switch to the entangling web. Although those knobs have been around for a little while now. He hasn't got it yet. Wants to get those power blades for now. Or maybe just go for an avatar. Oh, he's got Seer Council up. Here we are. Death Jesters, I think. Someone said they resemble with the Harlequin scheme. I hope that's right. Knob Squad. Oh, using Frenzy to get out of that suppression. But they don't want to hang around against Banshees and Seer Council. 137 to 80. That's a single cap now for Blue. Librarian doing what he can to keep them off the mid. Devastators here to set up. They cannot get Alaskan, of course, because they go the advanced targeting. Though the suppression will come in handy against the knobs. Viking has some up. You just saw them getting into that Chimera there. Look at this sneaky howling banshee is going for the decap. Lots of blown up stuff here. What the heck was that? Rocket run from Noisy, maybe? Might have been. Might have just been stick bombs. Or something. 137 to 46. Still that single cap for blue. Zebra Girl is very thin though. Oh, just ate an Eldritch. That is why. Down to Sluggers and a Knob Squad. War Boss is even down. Right in the same place where he died before. You see all these craters from his Now I'm Angry thing. 135, 44. Single cap for red. Phobos on the field. And a Land Raider Redeemer on the field. This could be where it really swings around for the red team. Having that Land Raider Redeemer up is huge. And a Phobos is not bad either. But can he hold against Noisy here? Those Ogrins will do a lot of damage to the Phobos. They do have that Dirt Cluster to deal with though. You see that Lord Commissar still with his Power Sword. Might see him get a heavy melee weapon up now that he's seen that Phobos. He is saving for a Bane Blade, I guess. Noisy. Got the decap and Bane Blade on the way. Hands really pushing this east side. And he's going to get the decap again. 100 to 44. Another looted tank on the way for Zeragal. Not sure why he's getting another one. Get some flash kits up with blasters, maybe. For some commandos, for some sneaky decapping action maybe help out the west side 92 to 44 Viking does have a rocks available what did he use one already maybe that's what all this stuff over here was because I know he had oh there it is I know he went into tier 3 with like 515 red or something so he might have been using it for stick bomber throws and that kind of thing and frenzy what is that markup that Singularity. Caught some shooter boys. Level 4 though. They get right back up again. Here come Howling Banshees. Where are the Seer Council? Coming out of base right now. No web way over here really. Maybe it was, it was taken down. The shooter boy knob 
would be spotting them, of course. That is the anti-grav grenade. Incredibly annoying. Still no sign of that entangling web. He's happy to fight the knobs, I think. Though fully momentum knobs will make short work of Howling Banshees. But here come a Seer Council. And they will rip apart this knob squad at that health. What is he doing? Oh, where is the war boss? Can he get call the boys? No. Oh. Call the boys activated from there. What the heck? That's massive range. 5 to 44. That was weird. Knob squad. This is a new knob squad. They're getting the hammers again. Really? Okay then. I guess he had two. Red team are going to win this either way. The orcs kind of capitulating at the end there. Could not keep their stuff alive against a massive marine army in the mid. With a land raid redeemer to fall back to. We've, we all know how difficult that can be to deal with. If you don't have nukes and stuff ready to roll in there. Some cool fighting on all sides though. It was nice to see Ogrins running around smashing stuff. These guys got to level 3. This is a good hero's end of the game. Level 8, Lord Commissar was down right at the end. Level 6, Mech. A level 4, Warboss, who never got a weapon upgrade. Not often you see that on a Warboss. Chaos Lord with Ar Ar Armoured Inferno and Combi Flamer. Level 7, Apothecary. Arm of Purity, Purification Rights, and Customized Storm Bolter. And a level 8, Warp Spider Exarch. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.